Good morning, students. Today we are going to learn. We are going to study about the types of operating system. Types of operating system. There are different types of operating system available in the market, which require different types of hardware to run upon. Means different type of operating system need to uh, configure differently to the system to the computers the operating systems are of mainly following types though there are many other types single user operating system multi user program or multi program os real time os multi processing os and distributed os the first one is single user operating system as the name of it itself suggest this os is single user operating system so only one user can be supported by it at any point of time this uh, there can be two sub categories of this os type the one is single task os and the other is single user but multitasking os you have to understand the difference single user single task single user but multi task so this is the difference single uh, task os means only one task can be performed over here this os supports or runs single application at a time for example the example of this type of os are ms dos microsoft dos it was the initial operating system um, developed by windows or you can say developed by microsoft company and os for mobiles single user but multitasking os this os supports one user but can deal with multiple applications running at a same time here students you might have noticed to do work at the time of working on your computer that you can run word document you can open a video and you can listen it and you can do internet browsing and listening to music at the same time it means you are running more than one application you are doing uh, more than one task at a same time so it is called multitasking examples of this OS, os types are windows vista windows 7 uh, and 8 and mac os leopard etc all these are the examples of this type os next is multi program operating system unlike single program os this is a multi user os multi user means many users can do work can perform their work at a same time it supports multi program for example more than one user can be supported by it therefore more than one user programs are loaded and active in the main store at the same time these active programs are executed using some techniques one by one some techniques are required to be used examples of this os types are unix linux and ibm as 400 etc these are the examples of multi programming uh, operating system the next is real time operating system in real time operating system the jobs have fixed deadlines and the jobs have to be completed within their deadlines uh, you can take the example of these kind of operating system just if you are uh, you know for, uh, if you are appearing in a online in an online exam and there you will see the deadline or of time is given and you have to finish the work within the time frame the system performance is measured by its ability to complete its jobs within the specified deadlines the examples include linux os os e rt linux etc are the finest example of real time operating system are also known as rt os the next is multi processing operating system the multi processing os is a capable of handling more than one processors processors means cpu central processing unit which is also known as the brain of computer where uh, in the system where more than one processors are installed that can be handled by the operating system that is called multi processing operating system as the jobs have to be executed 
on more than one processor. Processor means CPU. The multi-processing OS should be capable of load sharing. Load sharing in case of identical processor so that the system's efficiency improves. If identical processor are installed, are configured in a same system, then the efficiency of the system improves. In case of an identical processors, the multi-processing OS should be able to control the super or main processor and in turn control the working of slave. Slave processor means other processors which are attached. Examples include examples of multi-processing operating systems are Unix, Linux, Windows NT, Windows 2K3 server, Windows 2K8 server, uh, 2K10 server and so many others are there. The next is distributed OS means operating system. This type of OS is designed to share its workload over multiple servers, mostly at multiple locations. Means the servers which are kept, which are placed at multiple servers. As you know that uh, Google server is kept in different countries so that the load can be shared. Thus, a distributed OS has a decentralized architecture. A distributed OS shares data and resources along its multiple servers to get maximum efficiency. Most reservation system, the reservation system, use this distributed OS. Examples include Unix, Linux. Thank you, dear students. This was all about it.